Hello and thank you for tuning in to mrchoy.com.au today. All right, happy in real estate, happiness in real estate. Okay, so look, it's a stressful gig. <laughs> That's why we get paid what we get paid, yeah? Um, generally, the most stressful jobs get paid the most. So, but look, there's things that you might not like in your job and look, that's part of it, that's why it's work, that's why it's a job, and that's why you're getting paid to do it. But I just wanted to share a few secrets to um, just have an awesome uh, real estate environment and just being happy and just really getting fulfillment and enjoyment out of, out of the game, okay? So, uh, Dr. Sonia, and I can't say her last name, I won't do it justice, so I won't. She studied at Stanford. She uh, had this, um, she did this test. She had two groups of people, okay? Two, pe two groups of peeps, these students. What she did is, one group had to, um, every single week, write down what they're grateful for. Everything, absolutely everything they're grateful for, okay? And they did that for every, every week for six weeks, only six weeks. Another group only did it at the end of the six weeks. And then they ranked the happiness by percentage. What actually happened is the group that was, um, had to remind themselves, or that reminded themselves on a weekly basis what they were grateful for, were 25% happier than the group that just uh, did it at the end of the six weeks. This is crazy, right? So, um, I, I've, when I heard this, I, I've got this, I've got this thing called a GPS to happiness. I've got this folder called the GPS to happiness. I've got everything that I'm happy for, everything I'm grateful for, and so that I look at, I actually look at it every, every single day. I only spend 60 seconds on it, and I just look at it, and it reminds me of how lucky I am. Yeah, I might be going through this. Yeah, there might be that. Yeah, there's this problem, but you know what? I'm so damn lucky, and I'm grateful for where I am and what I've done. Okay, and where we're going. So, so th there's a little tip there. Um, yeah, real estate's a hard gig, and, and you know you might be working really, 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 really hard. Well, it's not hard, but it, sometimes there can be pressure, or the, the, you might have problems, or it can be stressful. But um, you might have this dream: I can work really, really hard, so I can just retire for the rest of my life, retire at the age of 35, uh, just live on an island, own an island, have this. I don't know, this massive TV that just floats in the air that you can watch and um, it's, you've just got everything, you've got like yachts and everything, right? And you don't have to think. That's probably the recipe for depression, okay? As much as holidays are cool and they are and I love them, it's probably the recipe for depression because you're not using yourself to your greatest potential. You're not stimulating your brain. Uh, you, you, you lack purpose. It's statistically been proven that people that live in prison uh, on, 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 a, on a life sentence, they die um, younger uh, or earlier than the average person outside of prison. And the reason for that is because they know they're not going anywhere. They know they've got no, I shouldn't say that they have no purpose in life, but they can't create a purpose for themselves inside the prison. And because they can't do that, um, or some can't do that, they die earlier because their body just shuts down and goes, you know what, there's no point. So having, um, creating a, a purpose and having the stress, having the, the stretch in your business is actually making you healthier and happier, okay? Because it, your body is going to maximum potential, okay? Now, this is really cool. This is a diagram that my brother Andy showed me. So, do you have a problem in real estate? No? Then don't worry about it. Do you have a problem? Yes. Can you do something about it? No? Then don't worry about it. If you can't do nothing about it, what's the point of worrying about it? Do you have a problem? Yes. Can you do something about it? Yes. Then don't worry. Fix it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Be happy. Cheers.